metals as it preserves the gas. Other materials would lose the fizz more rapidly. The process that turns these little tubes of plastic into grown-up bottles is called stretch blow molding, which means that the plastic preforms get blown up and stretched into the correct shape and size in just a few seconds. These are 13 centimeter preforms for two liter bottles, and this machine works 24 hours a day, churning out two and a half bottles per second. That's 9,000 an hour, 220,000 a day. They start by getting carried into an oven where, in just 40 seconds, they're heated to 125 degrees centigrade. This gets the preform hot enough to ensure maximum flexibility to blow and stretch the plastic. The piping hot tubes are then transferred into the 2-litre bottle mould, where a rod gets injected down into the neck of the tube, stretching the plastic, while air is blown into the mould at a rate of 40 bar, that's around 580 psi. While the hot tube is being stretched and blown, cold water is circulated around the outside of the mould, which instantly cools the bottle down, and the condensation escapes in the form of steam. Now the bottle is completely solid and ready to be filled with pop. And here's the final product, full of fizzy pop. Now typically, a bottle of pop like this is at about two bar pressure, which is twice atmospheric pressure. So these bottles have got to be immensely strong to take that kind of pressure. And if you shake them up, the pressure just goes up. That's your top up, Rich. Oh, love one, thank you. Give <laughs> <laughs> some of that. Cheers, Johnny, that's lovely. <laughs>